Hello guys and welcome back to this new video on Axure RP9. Today I'm going to talk about the slider control, how to create it from scratch uh, in Axure and uh, how to customize it a bit. Uh, we are lucky because uh, actually in the new uh, Axure 9, the, um, uh, this component, so this slider is already into the UI patterns library, so you can customize it starting from that one. But, but we are going to discover how to create it from scratch. That's say, let's get started. inside Axure as usual. So first thing to do is to create our widgets, our elements that will compose basically the slider. So first thing to do is to uh, drag and drop a rectangle. Uh, let's do it like, okay, this is uh, 12 pixels, hey, 400 of width with the uh, radius corner of 12 pixels. So we know that it is uh, perfectly rounded. First elements, we call it like BG underscore uh, gray. That's cool. First, uh, second elements is the uh, the bowl that we are going to drag. Field color, I would say uh, green. This green, it's okay, it's fine. Let's do it like 40 pixels uh, by 30. And let's try to put it like sort of uh, in the center so that um, uh, the end of the gray uh, background is exactly in the in the center of the bowl okay so you you will you will see after why this choice so this and let's wrap it inside that dynamic panel and let's call it like uh, dp underscore uh, ball that's okay and third thing to do, let's uh, copy paste uh, this element. Uh, so this widget, uh, the background gray, and let's put the field color like uh, dark green. That's perfect. And uh, this basically will be the element, the, the color, the widget that will follow uh, the, the ball. Okay, so uh, when the ball uh, will be at the end, of the of the slider this will will follow you know so let's call it the green gray and green and that's it for the moment so these are the three elements that we need to create this uh, component uh, first thing that we have to do is first thing is New interaction here uh, selecting the the bowl uh, we, uh, the new interaction will be on dragged okay so this one at the end basically dragged the action will be move move what the ball okay uh, we move the ball only on uh, the uh, X axis so only horizontally okay and that's perfect and okay the tra uh, trajectory we will leave it like this straight it's it's fine and we have to put the boundaries so basically one boundary at the left and one to the right so that basically the um, we cannot drag it off the component itself right so the boundary add a bound on the left that should be uh, greater than or equal to and of course should be the left of the gray background so basically we will do it like our uh, parentheses and we will put bg dot uh, left where the bg is the widget background gray that's amazing so the second thing to do is to add a right bound so uh, the right bound should be less than or less than or equal to the extreme right of this gray background so again we we'll put the same thing here but bg dot right 
local variable where the BG is the widget background gray again. So basically we are adding these two bounds, left and right. And let's go to see it in preview. So let's put, of course, the preview here uh, from the second screen. So here, okay. So as you can see now on drag, we have this bound. So the, basically the, the ball uh, cannot go further than the two bounds that we put. Uh, but I want to do a, a small modification in this, where basically since this is 40 pixel, I want that uh, this ball goes um, basically uh, half of its width, so 20 pixel, um, outside of the bounds. So how can uh, we can do that? More option, always here. And on the FX, on the left side, I want minus 20 pixels. Okay, so I add minus 20. And on the right side, I add 20 pixels. Okay, that's great. Let's go again to see it. Okay, so if I drag, oh, okay. So you can see that now I can go here. This is, here is clear. So I can go further 20 pixel than the, um, uh, than before, right? Because before was here, okay, exactly at the beginning of the, the background now is minus 20 pixels. So basically at the center of the ball, okay? That's exactly what I wanted. Second thing to do, really simple again, it's just to uh, always on the same um, interaction, so on dragged, add a new action. So now we have to resize basically our background that should follow the bowl, okay? So how to do that? Uh, set size of our background green, okay? For the width, what we have to put here is again a variable, the variable should be uh, x, so this dot x, so the x point of the uh, of the ball, minus the bg dot x, so the x uh, point of the background, where again the bg is the widget background gray. Okay, and for the height, uh, the, the only thing that we have to do is to target uh, dot height, and that's finished. Okay, let's go in preview to see if it works, but sh it should. Oh, voila! The only thing that, uh, that we have to tweak here is that, as you can see, the 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 gray uh, the green background is following basically the end of the of the big, big, the ball because the ball it's uh, further 20 pixel than this so we have to recover I would say this 20 pixel just adding on this plus 20 pixel okay let's go again in preview to see it. And voila, 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 that's finished, okay. And also this video is finished. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new from me. As usual, I ask you to subscribe to the channel, to put a like, a comment, and see you in the next video. Bye.